In the interest of science and in fairness to Jeffrey, I decided to repeat the experiment I did yesterday measuring the interference. Instead of using Styrofoam Electra for a test subject, she is now available for Russell this weekend. I have used Kali, the three pound cauliflower with the head circumference of 60 centimeters. This is an organic <coughs> cauliflower. I didn't want to run the risk of testing any Monsanto products. I've decided the real culprit in this is this vinyl floor mat, the basic $49 mat from Home Depot that doesn't make any claims to being anti-static. It seems to be particularly static when wearing my Orvis Invincible 62% wool, 37% nylon, the rest Lycra socks, or even barefooted. This is a variable phenomena. It was uh, more staticky this morning <clears throat> when maybe the humidity was a little lower. Let's uh, see what we're reading now and we can compare this to yesterday. As I sit over here and rub my feet, not getting too much of a notice. I am set at 37, the same range that I was set yesterday. If I bring my hand in here, I touched it there, we see we still can get some interference. This is the side with the reference electrode. If I do the same thing on this side, it's far less. When I had more static going this morning, I found what really resolves this well is a basic grounding strip strap here that you use in computer repair. When uh, I have this put on, there's <clears throat> virtually nothing I can do to affect it. I can maybe get one channel to move a little bit, but moving my feet, coming in and out, the grounding seems to eliminate it. I also found that wearing rubber sole shoes reduces the static on the mat as opposed to wool socks or bare skin on my feet. Wanted to take a look at how the telephone is affecting here now that we have a different head model. So here's the cell phone once again and we're placing a call and uh, not getting near the interference that we were before. Taking it over here, not getting any discernible influence. What we are seeing could in effect part, be still part of the static charge in my body. Okay, we'll try the other phone here. We have a dial tone here. Not such a profound effect here. Not such a profound effect here. Now uh, let's see what uh, Electra herself does here when we bring her near. We can see that she really sends things into motion, even though we haven't done anything special to rub her head. But uh, she certainly moves the measurement here. So I think the moral of the story is, uh, let's believe Jeff, I think he knows what he's talking about. In terms of minimizing the interference, I think it's good to wear rubber soles or take some steps to ground yourself, I think will improve the detections. <clears throat> there also was pointed out to me that instead of going all channels, we can select just one. And uh, there it's automatically set up. <clears throat> minimum and a maximum amplitude of 18. This is a little more sensitive detector for just one mode here. You can see the hand creating some interference here. So you do have that capability. Uh, didn't know about that until the response to my post. Now uh, the one area that I uh, still need to work on 
would be uh, the brain maps. I, with the new head, ran three three-minute brain maps, did the spectral map and the component map. I would say they're better than the last collection of six. We have more of just kind of a basic green going on here, but there's far more variance than what I'd like to see, and uh, don't know how I can really get this uh, background toned down more. Maybe Jeff has some more good ideas for me. So thanks a lot. Now we'll try me as the test subject dummy and see what kind of effect we have. I'm still set at the same uh, 37 channel spacing, megavolt channel spacing. When I move my feet now, I get very pronounced interference. You can see that the uh, clapping here now is uh, a little bit similar. Now as I stop to what it was with the styrofoam head. I'll now go ahead and uh, I'm wearing my wool socks, put on this grounding strip. And see how that affects things. Let things settle down here. Okay, now I'm going to move my feet with the grounding strip, and I basically don't get anything. Very little from my clapping. But uh, almost nothing when I have the grounding strap on and I'm moving my feet, very little interference. As soon as I take the grounding strip off and move my feet, you can see there's a pronounced difference. Let's try one channel. Not quite sure why it picked such a low auto scale, but let's move it up to about a 37. This should be uh, static or just my brain now moving my feet. Really think I need to move the scale up a bunch more here. Go to 65. Okay. There we're looking at AF3. No movement. Static with the feet. So uh, I seem to be almost as electric as Electra. Certainly more dynamic than Kali. Let's try AF4. Okay, there we're getting a static basic reading with me just talking and thinking about what I'm going to do. Now if I move my feet, it doesn't show too marked a difference right here. Let's try a different uh, channel here. There's the baseline. Seems like maybe after a period of time I kind of deplete the shocking ability. Oh, maybe it was I had my ground strap sitting on my lap here. Now that I put that on the floor, we definitely get interference. So just having that ground strap sitting on my lap 
really cause things to simmer down 